Okay, so uh, PX6, um, you can use Mission Planner on either of the laptops. Uh, you need a USB-C to USB-A adapter for the ThinkPad, this one, and then the work laptop will take uh, your regular USB-C cable on Windows. Uh, so there's a USB-C port on the side of the PX6. You literally just plug it in to the USB cable. And then the other side goes to your laptop wherever, I think. Oh my gosh, cool. Uh, and then you can just, like if you set the COM port to auto in Mission Planner, so there's a COM port in Mission Planner. If you set it to auto, ignore everything else and just hit connect. You might need to try it once or twice. Um, to get it to work, uh, please. Yeah, did you get a green connecting to map link? If it gets stuck here, just cancel it and then try again. Um, well, that goes through. Grab the controller with the pink on it. Um, it's gonna be in the controller's box. If the controller battery dies, there's two of these chargers that will plug into the back of the bottom of the controller and they'll charge them fine. Uh, you can use them while they're being charged, that's okay, it just won't charge very fast. Uh, so if you power on the controller by holding the power button, you've done this before. Uh, so if it gives you, okay, hold on, demonstration time. So if I have like my throttle up and like switches hit, um, like sort of up instead of being down, when you turn on the controller, it'll give you a whole bunch of sort of like throttle and switch warnings. Um, don't skip them, just like move the throttle down and then move the switches back to zero. To actually select the model, if you click the top left corner and then go to select model, you should be able to find uh, some like a work panel. Uh, Big Phoenix is fine. And then just hit select model. And then there's nothing here, but if we uh, if we just check the setups, you should see we have four inputs. They get sent to the outputs. And then we have an arm disarm on channel six. Doesn't really matter. Um, and then the last thing you're going to verify is that the green light is on. If the green light's not on, hit model. And then scroll to the really bottom. You want to make sure that Internal RF is off, so internal RF here is off, and the external RF is to crossfire channel 1 to 16. Uh, the rest of it, don't worry about it, and it should work. And then when you look on Houston, there should be this TBS crossfire receiver. It should be green, and that should be plugged into RC in, right? So when you do your test, you'll want to replace, you want to send this RC in port here. Uh, this orange wire is signal, and then the red and brown ones are graph, high and ground. You'll, you'll plug that into zero pilot, and then zero pilot's RC in will go into here. Um, and it'll be fine. So then, when I have all of this plugged in, this should light up green. You should get lights on the side of the Pixhawk. Controller should be on, happy, sure. Um, you go back to your laptop, you'll get like a whole bunch of information. Just hit OK and clear them. And then if we go to setup, go to mandatory hardware, and go to radio calibration, you'll see that you have a whole bunch of channels of radio stuff. So now, if I put my radio beside, uh, if I move my radio, you can see the values changing, right? So that's how we're going to verify that everything's on the right channel. So like pitch, roll, yaw, etc. If I move every single different stick, you should see a different channel moving. Uh, so like throttle is the right one here. Uh, they're all labeled pitch, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then you can even check your switches. So like arm, disarm, whatever random stuff has been set. Um, so yeah, pretty simple, easy.